Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and my brother are out in the <laughs> Me and my brother are out in the St. Francis Bay Golf Course. We've just been playing a friendly nine holes, but guys, I've been wanting to bring you this video. Recently, we purchased a new range finder, one of the laser range finders with the slope function. This one is the Volvic V1. And guys, I've been wanting to compare this to the free GPS apps that you can get on your any of your smartphones to see how accurate they are. Uh, just before we start the video, guys, this isn't sponsored by Volvic or sponsored by any of the apps we're using. This is just me and my brother bringing you guys a bit of a... Sponsored by Billabong. No, but you can't say that. Okay, not, not sponsored by Billabong. <laughs> we're not sponsored by Billabong. <laughs> so guys... But we gonna... want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're gonna so guys we're gonna bring you a kiff review uh, we're gonna put the range finder up against um, two of the apps that we've got on my smartphone um, the apps are gonna be swing you and 18 the 18 hole birdies 18 birdies 18 birdies mm. and um, he, he chose the color I've sorry used, guys <laughs> I've used both of the apps um, before I actually bought my range finder and um, yeah we're gonna see how they compare Really, you're gonna affect your eye if you shoot it into your eye. Really. No, I'm not shooting it. Am I? Is that the right, is that the wrong way? Are you being serious right now? Yeah, I was like, good. <laughs> you can see. You can't. That's where you put your eye. <laughs> Thank, oh. Okay. Okay. I let's was go. like, this hole's long. <laughs> okay, guys. First of mm. all, we're just gonna tee off. We'll bring the apps and the rangefinder into play on our second shots. Okay guys, we're up at Piers Drive. He actually hit quite a bomb. Um, okay, so we've got the 18 birdies app open and we have got the range finder. Let's compare them. A5. Jeez, okay guys, so we've just shot it with the range finder. Range finder says 195, app says 196. Really? Serious. Jeez. So, yo, guys, that's flip. That that's that's really good. Pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Um, okay, guys, my drive just ending up on the left rough, so I can't see the pin. From where my driver is but what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna shoot the bushes just here on the left and the bushes on the right to see what I need to do to cover to get to the green so let's see what the app says let's see what the rangefinder says okay, you're gonna shoot the, so this bush the right, right here right in front the right and the right edge. bush green yeah. so. okay guys so shot it with the rangefinder checked it on the app Rangefinder says 185 to the bushes straight here in front of me and about 110 to carry the bush here on the left. Um, app says 184 and 112. What, 117. And 117. So, so I'll check. Yeah, but I mean, it, really, it depends what part of the bush I shot with the rangefinder, yeah, but that's well, still... 140. Yeah, look, it's, 114. it's pretty close. It's yeah, pretty that's, much that's spot on. That's really, really good. Okay, let me hit my shot. I just laid my second shot up just here on the right hand side. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how the two compare. Okay, really. I got 70. Okay, yeah. so rangefinder says 70 meters. Uh, up says when I shoot the 72 pin. meters. It also says 72. Does, so does, but does the app actually show the pin location? Does it? Does the pin does it where show is? where the pin is? Mm, but no, it doesn't. I think that's center. Is it? Does that to the center? So it literally could be two meters off to the right. Because I think, yeah, bro. How would they know? No, yeah, but that's that's why I wanted to ask. How would the app know? But that's why I thought yeah. if they did, if it was that, that would have been they, great. They bro. change the pins like every morning, as far as as far as I know. So I don't know. Maybe there's some guy sitting in a back room somewhere going. 
Christmas. The pin's here today. Pin's here today. Pin's here today. Oh, get in! Oh! Bunch of monkeys. Four ball. <laughs> Four ball. <laughs> Let's see how close you can get before they run away. Look at that. As we stop recording. Check there. The little oh, monkey's no, got no, my no. ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't take glass ball, please. <laughs> 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 run, bro, run! <laughs> Get your golf ball! <laughs> Did he take it? Was he in the bush? <laughs> oh, flip through, that's classic! <laughs> that is epic, bro! <laughs> the monkey stole your golf ball! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one ball down. For today, the monkey stole his the golf ball, guys. <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I thought, let me let's see. I, you know, I don't think it's gonna happen. I really didn't think it was gonna happen. And then it looked like the baby monkey came out and was like, Shot, it's mine. Somewhere in so, that bush yeah. here on the right hand side, guys. Yeah, so okay. not coming back. Anyways, guys, we're on to a par three, guys. It's hole number eight here out at St. Francis. Uh, it's surrounded by water. So it's going to be very interesting. We're going to shoot the flag. We're going to shoot the distance to carry the water. Let's see how it compares to the app. 107. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so rangefinder says we've got 130 to the flag, hey? Yeah. Okay, so the, the, the app is telling me it's 126 to the middle of the green flag looks slightly back yeah. from the green so it's actually nice looking pretty good uh, back of the green you shot 142 yeah this says 138 but it's showing that it's still the green you shot the actual yeah, slope at so the back of the green much on it. and front of the green on the app says 115 and you shot the bank by the yeah. water which was 110 so geez guys the they've the, the, no, the yardages the, the the yardages on the app are oh, absolutely yes they're actually really spot on i got an eagle on the last hole oh, <laughs> so oh sorry too close to the camera so yeah that was really good i'm very stoked with that let's see if i can i'm not gonna call a hole in one dude but <laughs> get something close <laughs> Hey guys, yo, both finished off with the birdie over there. Yeah, so, both finishing yeah, off with the birdie. So, bro, what do you think? What, what no. do you like better, bro, the app or the rangefinder? 
Well, look, what I can say about the rangefinder, it's nice that it just attaches to your bag. So you, you literally, oh, it's very golf friendly. Yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know, we're walking around with a phone in your pocket on a golf course feels not yeah. golf. Yeah, it does feel a bit weird. And, I, and I've noticed if you, if you guys are playing on a golf course where the signal isn't that great, for yeah. some reason, um, the app takes really long to load and it can sometimes take a lot of time while you wait for but it to give you the yardage. If, other than that... I mean, think about it, the apps are free. I mean, yeah. a range finder nowadays, guys, with the slope function and everything that goes with it, here in South Africa, you're spending about 3,000 Rand mm. for something like that. Uh, yeah, so, taking the price factor into play... So, yeah, if you can put it into your... Um, so. Like your setup, like the way that, like between the way that you walk to the tee and the way that you walk to your yeah. next ball, that you've got your phone out, and yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's definitely a winner. Definitely. Yeah, I think it's a winner, definitely, because yeah. I'm actually very impressed. I wasn't yeah, sure I didn't about. Think, I didn't think it was going to be that close. I yeah. thought, I thought there would be a minimum between five and ten meters on every shot. Yeah. That, that it would be out. The one thing I liked about the rangefinder, though, is that with it being in your hand you get to shoot different obstacles so if there's a tree in front of you or you're yeah. worried about a bunker or something like that you can shoot it and it, it does it, you know it's very quick on the app you know you, you kind of have move to it move it around and find it and but, ma and also make sure that you're actually on the right tree uh, that you're looking at you know so but it, at the same time, time with the range finder it, it, it's it's yeah, difficult, it's, it's, you got to get the yeah. hang of being super stable. Yeah, it's, tr it's like so trying to look through a binoculars and trying to shoot something really small. Um, you know, the slightest bit of movement makes it tough to, to try and shoot it. But yeah. I Black still think from, from a personal point of view, bro, I don't think I'd drop 3,000 Rand again on another range <laughs> <laughs> Um If I knew the apps were as accurate as what they are. Yeah, no, definitely. So. I de I I, I'm gonna down. I don't have it on my phone. I'm gonna download yeah, it now. <laughs> anyway, guys, Sweet guys, thanks for watching. And Hopefully, we can bring you guys some more reviews like this yeah. uh, with regards to clubs golf and balls. golf balls Definitely. and that type of stuff. Uh, drop comments in below if you guys have any ideas that you'd like us to try out. Mm. And yeah, see you later. See you Sweet. Later. Wow.